Good morning, guys. Time check. It is currently 5.51. Couldn't sleep all night, but that's all right. Welcome back to Swamp Series Part 2. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, man. Have a good day. You too. What is going on, guys? It is currently 6.30 in the morning. I'm out here with Dylan. What's up, guys? We're currently walking down to the dam, guys. We're going to catch a couple more bluegill than we did last time because we don't want to hit that same problem. We're going to try to aim for at least 8 or 10. You think that's a good number? That's pretty good. 8 or 10, guys. I'll see y'all when I'm there. Come on, little bluegill. There it is. Yes, sir. There's a big... Oh, I need you. Okay. She gone. There's one. Number three. You got another one? Yes, sir. Oh my God, heads up. <laughs> good, good way to dodge that. All right, guys, I think we got nine or 10 right now. We're gonna catch two more. One each. There's mine. Oh, nope, not again. Don't fall down. <laughs> Good God. The fat one. Oh, he's kind of pretty. All right, guys, we have enough. I just dropped down again. One more little pretty guy. Look at that one. She's a pretty. Put her back in the water. It's a fat little dude. Thank you, baby. All right, guys, just got all of our 12 bluegill. Now the journey begins. We're about to start walking back to the swamp. All right, guys, we just made it to the spot. We got all 12 of our bluegill. Last time we came here, we couldn't really find an open spot to fish. So we just stuck with the first little opening we had. But thanks to Plopper Boy, I don't know why he has this, but he bought it at a gun and knife show and I was with him. I don't even understand, but we're going to use it today, guys. We're going to try to clear a path down so we can have a little bit more open area to fish. We have four rods total with us today. We're going to put all of them out for the bow fin. Dylan's going to throw the same size hooks he used last time. I'm going to throw some treble hooks, guys, if y'all remember in Greenville when I made the prehistoric video. I was catching bow fin on these treble hooks, guys, so let's hope we have a better hookup ratio this time. We're about to start walking down, guys. What do you think about this game plan, Dylan? We're definitely going to use more rods than last time. We only had one rod apiece out last time we were yeah. fishing here, so we're thinking about two rods apiece. Uh, we're going to keep one down on the bottom just to see if anything's cruising down low. And we're going to fish uh, a brim kind of aggressively on the top to see if we can get a blow up. Flipping that thing around. That'll be, that'll be cool for you guys to see. And we have two rod holders with us too, so we'll prop those up and we'll be flipping with the other two guys. Hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you. Alright guys, so last time we fished, we walked that way and came and fished this little corner right here. We're casting into this little main channel. That's where we saw a lot of bowfin, but this creek continues all the way down. So we can find a bigger spot that's gonna hold a lot more bowfin. We have the machete today. We're gonna clear down pretty much a lot of this stuff that we see. Try to find a new spot, have four rods laid out. We're gonna start walking down this path, guys. If we can't find an opening, we're gonna come back here and start putting lines out. We just found this spot. Look at this body of water. This is where the bowfin are gonna be at, we think. Only problem is there's not much access to fish from the banks. Where the game plan is, we're gonna try to walk this bank, go around that little island right there, and see if we can hit some hard ground over there and we'll cast there into this pool. Made it to the spot. What we're standing on right now is pretty much the dam, and if y'all can see right there, we're kind of busting it, so water's falling down, but this is the biggest body of water we can find. There's gotta be bowfin sitting in here, guys. They might be hiding in there. They're gonna come out in here to feed. Our bait casters can cast far enough, we think, to be able to hit in that pool over there. I'm gonna start chopping some stuff down behind us so we can have a little bit more room to cast. All right, guys, we're baited up. We're about to make our first cast out there. You see him? He's right by mine, though, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we just saw our first boat, and he just surfaced right there. I'm just spooking them. One negative thing about fishing in the swamp, guys, you're gonna get hung up. Situations like this, I can't break the line, it's just too thick. You don't wanna cut it, because then you got line in the water. You don't wanna keep on trying to pull it out, because you're just spooking them. All right, guys, little update. We saw a couple surface, but none have taken our bait. We don't wanna waste any more time here. I think we're gonna walk back to the spot where we hit the first time, see if we can find any over there.
We just made it to the new spot. We're gonna try to be quiet walking through here. We don't want to spook any. As soon as we get to the water, we're gonna start pitching, guys. Dude, I just got bit. I got one. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got one. Oh, it's a bass. What is that? It's a catfish. Is it <laughs> it's a mud cat. All right, now. Hey, guys, well, that's my first little mud cat. I just realized that this log in front of us goes underneath the bank, so I pitched in there. As soon as it hit the water, that dude came out and ate it. A little skinny guy. We'll take him, though. Thank you, buddy. Okay. She gone. He bit it? You got him? All right, guys. Dylan just got bit. He saw one all the way back in that creek. And he cast it, so he just got nailed. You got him? You got him? Yep. Yes! Get out of there. Get out of there. Is he hung up? Oh, no! No. He wrapped me up. That was a bow thing, guys. Dang it, Bo. That's why I was like, get out of there, get out of there. He looked good, too. It's been tough, guys. That was the actual first bite we had. Only bad thing about the swamp is that there's so many logs. They're literally everywhere. To get a bite in open water is actually very, very rare. These bowfin tuck tight to these creeks, guys. They stay in the brush. They stay where there's logs. And they wrap you right up when you get a bite. Look at what that bowfin did to Dylan's bait, guys. It shredded that thing. It tore it up. Dylan had that eye, though, guys. That one spooked all the way back in that creek. It made the cast to it. And she bit. The only problem is right in front of us, there's a whole tree in the water. Nothing but roots. And that's where that fish just took them. Oh, I'm getting bit. Dylan, I got one. Oh yeah, I got one. There he is. Come here. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Dylan, pitch right in front of us. You see him? Oh, he ate it. Dylan, rip his face off. I would set it. Now? Yeah, go. Yes, dude, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. No! <laughs> oh no, guys, that bowfin was sitting right in front of us. All right, guys, I just popped this bowfin, put it in the water, saw my line start to go out. Look at this fish, guys. Look, see the little eye on his tail? What an amazing creature, guys. The only just missed one, too. They're heating up right now. We're going to put this guy back in the water and get back out there. All right, guys, she's going back. Okay. Going back in the water. She's gone. Guys, it's so insane how we go three hours with no bites. And then they just start heating up. We start seeing them surface. It doesn't make any sense. How are you doing? Look, keep on looking. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, yeah, I got one. Hell yeah. No, I just took my bluegill. Damn, you got him a meal. You still see him? Yeah. Oh, I see him. See good, flip it, flip it, good. He's coming from that log. Leave right there, leave right there. He'll swim to it. Oh, he's going to it, Dylan. You're about to get him. Yep. He's got it? Oh, yeah, he's got it. Get him, Dylan. Got him? He just broke you? He broke you? Yep. He just broke your line. Dude, what is going on? That was a big one, dude. That was a giant. That was a giant. Oh, Dylan, that's a giant. Dylan, that is an absolute giant. Yep, she's got it. I got it. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, she's off, she's off. No, I got her. Dylan, where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Behind you. Where? Right here. In there. In there. I'll stay right here. You see her head? Yeah. Can you grab her? Hold on. Oh, she's right here. 
No, 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 where is she at? She's gotta be down there. No! There's no way. Think she's gone? No. She's gone. No! Dude, she's gotta be there. There's no way for her to get out back there. She's gotta be back there. Where's your rod? You don't step on it. All your rods in the ground. It's fine, dude. She's gone. No way. Dude. No! I'm buying it. Dude, she's gone. You sure she's not in here? She's gone. I hooked myself in the leg, too. No! Guys, why? I just want to know why. Look at my reel and my rod. She's gone, bro. No, dude. I had her in my hands, too. Dylan, that was a giant. Dude, this all mats, though. She swam out. She had to. She swam out. Dude, that fish followed me to the bank. I saw her eat it. I set the hook. Oh, that was the biggest one we've ever hooked in here. Than that one oh, dude, it was bigger. Fish. Dude, that was, that was every bit of 10 pounds. I didn't let her fight because I set the hook so close, dude. That's why she had so much power. That's why dude, it's all mats. She went underneath. She's gone. The hook flew out of her mouth and stabbed me in the leg. Guys, me and Dylan have seen that fish probably three times, and I had her follow me right there. Dude, where does she go? If anything, though, I hope she's back in the water safe. She'll be back. Yeah, it might, might be a couple months, but she'll be back. Oh, Dylan, right in front of me, dude. Right there. Really? Dylan. You just ate it. <laughs> Dylan, she's right here. That's another big one. Yes, sir. Oh, I just came off too. Got her. You got her? <laughs> Dude. All right, guys, we just popped this second bow fin. I cast it out right behind me. She followed it to the bank, put it right in front of her face. I felt the thump of my life, guys. The power of these fish is literally crazy. It's unbelievable, it really is. You can tell these, all the bowfin that we caught are all different. Look at this one's tail compared to the other one. Guys, what an unbelievable fish. Guys, we're gonna put this beast back in the water. That don't look good. All right, guys, well, she put herself back in the water. She's all good. Camera's all messed up. All right, guys, I just wanna state these fish are extremely hard to hook. I'm lucky that my fish have bit somewhat close to the bank and they've spit the hook as soon as I pull them up. Oh my fish. Dylan, right there. Oh my God, big bowfin. Big bowfin, right in front of you. Catch right in front of you. See him? No. Right there, Dylan, bow. All right, he's swimming to it, he's swimming to it. He's got it. It's a, it's a baby, he's not big. Did you see her go back down? Dylan. Oh my God, she bit the bobber. Do you have her? Yeah, but I don't want to hook her yet. She has the bobber, not the hook. Does she have the hook? Does she have it? No. Does she have it? Dude, oh my God, Dylan. Dylan, that was not the fish, Dylan. Dude. That's the biggest one. Both and I saw was this big. It was a baby. Dude, it bit the bobber. All right, guys. I've had a lot of struggle today. I've missed about three bowfin, but right as we were getting ready to head up, we saw a nice big bowfin, this girl right here, swimming right in front of us. I pitched it right to her and she nailed it. It's my first successful land of the day, and I'm glad because I was ready to give up. So we're gonna get this girl back in the water. All right guys, let's get this release. Kick there, there she, she goes. goes. Give it to me, boy. Yes, That's sir. Video now. All right, guys, we'll wrap this video up now. I hope y'all enjoyed it like always. I hope you guys love these swamp series. Me and Dylan are the only ones out of my friends who are willing to go out there, fight the swamp. We came with our mug boots today, and it helped a lot, but as you can see, we still got pretty damn dirty. It was definitely a tough day. Uh, Peter missed a few. I missed a few. I mean, it was just tough. You, you, really, have to, you really have to set the hook pretty hard, and even after that, I mean, sometimes they just, they'll fray your line. If you're yeah. using mono or fluorocarbon, they'll fray your line. Their teeth are really, really sharp, so hook sets are tough. 
but we made it happen. We managed to catch three bowfin guys and one catfish that popped out of nowhere, but it's awesome to have it in the video. Y'all can see that those bowfin were hitting right there in front of us, and I would set the hook and pull them up onto the bank, and they would just spit the hook. They're literally, they're very, very hard to hook. They're like gar. They have nothing but teeth and bone in their mouth. Me and Dylan are going to experiment with different size hooks, different hooks, treble hooks. We're going to do everything we can to help y'all. If you ever want to go out there and catch both in, what gear to use, definitely use heavy line, heavy rod, of course. Guys, if you enjoy watching this Swamp Series, just drop a comment below if you want to see more of this. We love catching them. We can get more crazy footage if y'all want. We're 100% willing to do this for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching Looking Bass TV.